Hey guys, this video is just to show you um, a problem that I'm having. Um, around September 20th, 21st, somewhere right around there, um, Windows did an update on my computer, and this is September 20th, 21st of 2013. Windows 7 Ultimate did an update, and unfortunately when I logged on a couple days later um, from not using it for a while, um, the whole entire desktop is just scattered, uh, my programs are all messed up, no pictures on my desktop. And so Windows 7 Ultimate did some kind of update, and here I am to show you how to fix that. So let me show you exactly what it says. Um, I'm going to log on here, and forgive uh, the camera work, My even my Camtasia Studio doesn't work properly, but as I hit return here, notice... I'll get closer, but notice down here in the right-hand corner, it's going to say logged in as user default. Okay, and here's what happens when we log in. User profile service. You have been logged on with a default profile for the system. Please see the event log for details or contact your administrator. So this is what's happening and it has just totally screwed up my whole entire pictures and my files are still there but all my settings were just kinda like wiped out after this update so unfortunately this is what's going on and of course also no internet and so this is a problem and we're gonna find a fix for this alrighty guys I have found the fix for it and what it is it's a known problem with Windows 7 is it's a corrupted user profile and so something's gone corrupted um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the registry and we're gonna delete or we're gonna alter the registry so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna come down to the start windows button and we're gonna go ahead and right here in the search programs and files we're gonna type this in capital R E G E D I T and we're gonna Go ahead right up here, double click on that, and that's going to open it up. This is the registry editor. Alrighty guys, now that we're in the registry, and again, if you double clicked on it and it didn't pop up, you can always right click and push run for registry editor. But once you're here, you're going to see this, and follow along closely here because this is, um, just follow along and I'll, I'll repeat it out loud just in case you can't see this too well on screen. So now we need to go to H key local machine. That for me is the third one from the top. H key local machine, drop that one down. Okay, now we're gonna go to software. Down here, software, drop that down. That's gonna lead into a big long list, okay? We're gonna scroll down until we see Microsoft right here. It's alphabetical order, so go to the M section. Drop down Microsoft. Then we're going to get another huge menu. So drop all the way down to W for Windows. And we don't want regular Windows, we want Windows NT. Windows NT right here. Drop Windows NT down. Then we have current version. Drop current version down. Then lastly, we're going to go down to P, profile list right here. Profile list. Drop that down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the corrupted file. Alrighty guys, and now as you can see we have just a couple here. You guys might have a whole big list. But find the section right here with the same numeric numbers all the way across. 1000. See, this one right here is the same as this one. But this one is period B-A-K. Okay, B-A-K is not good. You'll see this as the profile image path users Jordan that's me but we'll click on this one and you'll see profile image path users 10 all you do here guys is we're going to change dot bak to dot so let's go ahead and change that right now we're going to rename it and again just the last And uh, for safety, uh, let's go ahead and, um, eh, no, we'll, we'll keep it lowercase. Sorry. We'll keep it lowercase. Again, period.
So now we're going to push enter. Okay, so now this one is alrighty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to <clears throat> file. We're going to go to exit. Alrighty. And now what we're going to do is we're going to reboot. And real quickly, guys, if that did not work for you, again, if that did not work for you, then come back. And what I actually did, just messing around a little bit, and this worked for me, so it might work for you if it did not work for you in the first time. So we changed this to TMP from BAK, right? Well, that didn't work for me for some oddball reason, so I went back in the system, and I changed the top one to .TMP, okay? And then I put the one below it to nothing, okay? So I just switched them. And um, then I exited, I rebooted, I restarted, and it worked just fine. So again, the way I first showed you, try that. If that does not work after you restart the computer, then try to switch them. Try to make this top one .tmp and the bottom one just 1000, no extension afterwards. And then after I restarted and came back into the program to make this portion of the video for you guys, it has already switched it back to the lower one. Doesn't make any sense to me, but it worked. Because if you take a look, let's exit out of this. So let's restart the computer here. And of course, I'm going to have to switch over to my phone for the end of this video because Camtasia Studio will shut down. All right, guys, we're going to type in our password here. And we're hoping that everything goes back to the original way it was, where I have my screensaver, all my pictures, and my cluttered up desktop top. So uh, let's give it a shot here while we're welcoming. And just in case you're wondering, um, this is a 30 inch Dell screen. And I'll have uh, some links and reviews in the description box below. So check that out for the uh, 30 inch uh, Dell high definition uh, screen here while we're waiting for this to load up. Excellent, guys. This is exactly what we wanted to see. Okay. So this looks beautiful right here. This was my screensaver. And so everything looks fantastic. And I'm going to talk you through one last portion, but let's uh, go ahead and... Okay, beautiful. So all my pictures came back over here. All my cluttered up desktop. It's back. So fantastic, guys. I'm really stoked. I have all my pictures, all my random videos that just disappeared. Again, it was a corrupted file and I'm back. So thank you so much guys for watching the uh, video. Please thumbs the video up if this worked for you and please comment and subscribe guys. Thank you so much and check out all my other videos. I have many, many more tips and tricks for you. Have a wonderful day. Take care guys.